Hey everyone, so welcome back to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. This one's running a little bit late, but a few days ago, or a, about a week or two ago, <laughs> um, Oculus released the Oculus released Unreal 4.25 on their Git repo, essentially. How do we, we can download, install, and set it back up? Same as we did for 4.24. I'll leave a link up in the top corner. That way you can actually check out that video because it shows you how you can link GitHub to your Unreal Engine account as well as some other videos to set up your Oculus Quest if you if you need it. But I won't be covering all that just because this is probably going to take quite a while. So the first thing we need to do is open up our or the, the Git repo. I'll leave a link in the description for this where you can actually access it. And the first thing we need to do is actually clone it. So I'm going to copy the link and I'm also going to use, where is it? GitHub desktop. Same as what I did in the previous version. I recommend watching that video first because this will cover a lot of the same stuff. So we're just going to do new repository, repository name, UE4. 4.25 description uh, updated engine because that's essentially what it is local path so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my main drive so this is where my windows and stuff is so you can see I've actually got my old version of 4.24.2 I think this one is since I've been waiting quite a while for 4.25 and I have my N NVIDIA and NV pack for the loading to the quest. This doesn't work in this version apparently. So we need to do some other tips and tricks to just get that to work. But we'll cover that as we go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder in here. I'm going to call it Unreal without caps. I've got a new keyboard and it's really clicky and it's bugging me now. <laughs> I mean, engine four point. Let's do no spaces because that can sometimes mess stuff up. Four point two five. Select that folder. Now we've got that gun. Uh, initialize this repository with a readme. Now get ignore. Don't need that. Create repository. So we've got that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a clone repository. I do URL since that is what we copied from the git so this basically this web address here is what we're going to take so I've got that copy it in hopefully this should be the right one curious to whether I should just do a new pull request clone a download we'll just do a download so we'll copy the the link we're going to put it into here I'm going to hit clone this is probably where most of the time is going to be taken up in the initial step same as the other version and then once we build it in Visual Studio as well it'll take a bit of time so for now I'm just going to let this download and then I'll come back and we'll have a look what what's going on with it cool so I've been able to download the repo we've got that so if I open up my folders so you can see here I've got I've just realized I spelled it wrong. So let's rename that quickly. Unreal Engine 4.25. Um, it's coming as the engine and it's done. Git. I oh, will just leave that. All right. So with that open, so this is our new download, which we got from our Oculus branch. Um, I renamed it, so I need to relocate it. Like folder. There it is. Cool. So I relocated that. So back to normal. Fix my spelling. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up or double click the setup.bat. That way it'll actually down check dependencies and download more folders. Then afterwards we can generate our project files. So this might take a while and it probably will. So far to get up to this point, it's taken me about three hours that's just a slow download speed but 
I'll come back once this is all done and we'll see where we are. So it took a little while, but we actually have our setup dot bat actually all done and finished. So the first thing we need to do now is, or the next thing we need to do now is generate our project files. So we can do that by just double clicking generate project files dot bat and we'll be and we'll see this CMD window. All we need to do now is wait for this to finish. If I remember correctly, it shouldn't take too long, but it might take a little bit. So that didn't take too long. It finished. We've got a couple of errors in it installed IntelliSense. We might have to look at that, but I think we're fine. So you can see now that we've actually generated our setup.bat and generated project files, we actually have our UE4.sln. So this is where we use Visual Studio to actually launch our Unreal Engine. Super simple, we can just double click that as long as you've got Visual Studio installed. I've got 2.17. Because I've already done this once, I'll link to a previous video where I installed 4.25, where I showed how to actually install Visual Studio correctly and get it set up and running for Unreal Engine source code. So before we launch Unreal, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build our light mass. It doesn't take too long. And it just means once we've got Unreal installed, we can actually build lighting without any issues. As you can see in the, I'll link up the first video that I did for this in 4.24 actually has an error if you don't do this. So you can't actually build lighting within the engine. So just using the search bar on the top right, I'm going to search for Unreal Light Mass. And you can see here we've got our code. So we're going to right click and we're just going to hit build. And you can see here in the bottom left, it's actually going through the engine and it's going to build the data. So one of 46. So now we just leave this to compile. Normally you would build the full engine first, but this just makes it a little bit easier so you don't forget and then you don't have to worry about it later on. So this is probably going to take a while as there's a lot to compile. So for now, it's probably best to just let it run and do its own thing in the background and hopefully just try and get on with something else. <laughs> Don't have to sit around waiting for it. So if you're worried that on that Visual Studio may have crashed while doing this, just check on the bottom and it'll say build started. Then you can actually see this icon moving here. It just means it's gathering data. So it just means it's still compiling. So as long as this is moving, you haven't crashed, just let it do its thing and it'll be fine. So you can see here compared to the lighting, which had around 80, I think it was there's actually 3,929 different things it has to go through and compile. So this is where it usually takes a while, but hopefully we will get through it and it should work straight away. Excellent, so we did it. I sound excited because I was entirely expecting something to fail, <laughs> but luckily for me, it didn't. So now that we actually have this built, all I need to do is actually go to our UE4 and hit F5 on the keyboard. You can also do this by going down to start, set a startup project and then hit that. So now you can see it says this item does not support previewing. That's because it's running. It should do its own little thing in a second and then it should boot up 4.25. So now we've successfully built our Unreal Engine using Visual Studio. What we can do now is actually select our UE4. So make sure it's just selected and then hit F5 on the keyboard and we'll hit build started or it'll activate build started. What this is doing now is it's actually launching Unreal Engine for us to use. So you can see it's loading in all the information and then I'm just going to hit allow access. Excellent. So we're done. It's launched up or it's opened up. So now we can actually select game next and we've got everything we're used to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here. This is going to be part one. In the next part, if you're doing virtual reality development for the Oculus Quest, I'm going to install the new Android works or the old one, depending on how you look at it, for the new setup. Since this is slightly 4.25, a slightly different environment for Quest development. So if you're interested in that, that'll be tagged next and I'll just put put these two videos up at the same time. Uh, until the next time, or when you're back on it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot.
and also share this video if you think it's going to be useful for someone and we'll see how it goes awesome stay safe and i'll see you then bye